Hello and welcome to Force 13's latest prediction for the upcoming Northern Hemisphere Cyclone Seasons. 2025 marks our 10th season of forecasts and we didn't quite catch the April predictions, it uh, passed us by somewhat, but we are here for the proper predictions, which have always been the proper predictions, the May 31st ones, and we're happy to bring that to you here on the eve of Atlantic hurricane season. Now in the eastern Pacific they're calling for actually a below average season is what they're saying, 12 to 18 storms, 5 to 10 hurricanes and 2 to 5 majors, um, and they're saying 50% chance actually of a below normal season according to them. Now the Pacific hurricane season, let's reveal these numbers then. We are expecting 14 tropical storms, 9 hurricanes and 3 major hurricanes in 2025. And you can see them here compared to average and the chances of it being an average season are also extremely high in the eastern pacific as a matter of fact 70 percent is what we're giving it 14 percent chance of a below average season and 16 percent chance of an above average season so very low chances either side and by uh, by average we mean around about 10 to 15 percent of um error margin around what is the average if that makes sense, which in the Eastern Pacific is something like 14 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, looking at significant tracks, it really looks like um, long ranging storms, long tracking storms will be quite rare in 2025. We're really predominantly looking at shorter range hurricanes and tropical storms. Um, and we're looking at the peak season. Obviously, we're going to have our first peak in June, we think. Uh, usually we do followed by the second one which it looks like it's going to be in October with the peak season or the peak months the summer months looking pretty tepid it has to be said uh, but there could be a late season um, surprise or two towards the end now the coast of Mexico might get quite busy um, especially later on in the season and I I would tip the southern part of the Baja California Peninsula as one of the most likely populated areas to receive tropical cyclone impacts this year. Like in the Atlantic, in the eastern Pacific this year, overall chances of cyclone impacts are a little bit less. Um, and like I said, uh, shorter length storms displaced closer to the coast. Now, um, suppression during the peak season, late, late season likely to be the, big, the busiest with the biggest land threats likely to be carried in the month of October, which sounds a little bit familiar if we were looking at last year. Um, Baja California, Sinaloa and Jalisco being the most vulnerable during that period in particular. Uh, the average storm strength also expected to be limited this year, although at least a couple very strong hurricanes are possible as is the case any year in the eastern pacific but i've got to tell you looking at some of the analogs we've got some pretty quiet ones 2003 is actually one of the best analogs for the eastern pacific this year and guess what it never even had a major hurricane so that is one of the scenarios for this year but i'm sure it will get proved wrong uh, just a note for Hawaii as well, because we didn't mention Hawaii in there, in the Central Pacific. We gave 20% last year, we've knocked it down to 10% this year for the eastern islands and less on the western islands of Hawaii. Land impact's possible, uh, but low chance, and if it is, it's likely to be a weaker storm, but let's hope we don't jinx that. One more thing about the eastern Pacific, it does count Alvin, okay? Just what got to mention that in those numbers that we put out. It does mention Alvin, which of course has just died off today. We have our numbers for the 2025 upcoming seasons. It's taken a lot of research that we've put into this. Uh, we hope we've done a good job. It's not infallible, absolutely not. Um, and the conditions do change throughout the year. Um, and like I said as well, in fact I don't think I've said this yet, but looking at the El Nino uh, Enso pattern, it is pretty neutral, which means that there's a lot of uncertainty. And even the ENSO forecast is quite uncertain because we don't know if we might just pop up into a positive for a while, maybe even getting towards a weak El Nino, or whether we'll just be uh, staying neutral and then dropping back down towards the La Nina towards the end of the season. You can uh, react to all of this on our Discord server. You can check out discord.gg slash force13 uh, to chat with other weather watchers from around the world. Join discussion. You can also find all of our social 
social media links on our link tree uh, and you can also join the team if you want to help us out during our coverage this season uh, and be on our streams and uh, help give out really important information at really crucial times uh, please send us a message you can email us contact at force or get in touch through one of those aforementioned outlets